of the ring. from her here. Yeah, she just seems unstoppable at this point. <laughs> oh, crushing face first impact. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. <laughs> Looking worse for wear in the corner now. <laughs> Back with a rebound. Hoist it up into a knee. She now has gotten herself into a distressing spot. Yeah, she needs to create an opportunity for herself fast. Another big move. Oh, Leave the night light on for her, because this is over. There's two. Emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Nancy. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt. Kicking. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
because apparently people around here don't think I have enough to do. I'm supposed to find a superstar to be the face of a new WWE cryptocurrency we're launching. I don't know if you know anything about crypto, nor do I care. But the two names that keep getting thrown around are you and Alexa Bliss. Since, as I think I've made fairly clear, I don't have time to deal with all of this. If you want the job or honor, whatever it is, fight Alexa for it. A battle over an interesting prize here tonight. The right to be the spokesperson for a new WWE cryptocurrency. No matter who wins, I'm investing big. Got to get it on the ground floor with these things. You earned it here first, WWE Universe. Financial guru Byron Saxon has weighed in with crypto advice. Start investing your entire life savings now. And a slap, too. Uh-oh, it's gonna, we're gonna see it! Stop! What an axe kick! Running swan time! Alexa can't yield any attack coming her way. Alexa's gotta flip the switch soon. Things taking a turn for her now. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. No! Senton connects. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Two. Oh, not pretty, but effective. Uh-oh. It's gonna... We're gonna see it! Right to the back of the net! Oh, the disc gets closed oh. Took their head off. Delivered into the barricade. Oh, the first down the barricade. She's gaining momentum here, guys. Yeah, she's really being the aggressor lately. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. And we are down to the front. On the apron. All the way to the outside. She will wisely return to the ring now. She's got to be careful here. The ref will count her out. Set off from the apron. Took a gamble once. Took a gamble. Hit the jackpot twice. Uh, guys, what's going on here? Oh, headbutts. And a lot of them. Oh, headbutts. A relentless attack being brought to Alexa. This is having trouble finding a leg up here. This could be it. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. Oh, she responds with a counter. Oh, oh and a reversal. Kick down low, all tied up. Is this enough to do it? Victory, guys, no contest. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you got to be on your toes at all times.
I don't know if I need to get my eyes checked, but that does not look like Ronda Rousey. Sometimes these matches create more questions than answers. Apparently, Sonya Deville is stepping in for Ronda Rousey in tonight's knockout or submissions only contest. An MMA inspired match like this is usually not for the faint of heart. But then you don't show up? I don't get it. Rounding a downed opponent. Look at them go over and over and over again. Ooh, and a slap, too. Ooh, kick! <laughs> snap there, takedown. Where are they going? Here. Back into the ring, into a snow. Running swanton, awesome. The fatigue is setting in for her. down deep to bust out something like that shows the hunger for a win here tonight Deville struggling to defend herself Deville from the middle rope oh what a splash from the middle rope breathtaking hurricane taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible impact oh that just gets close lock took their head off This could be it! Oh, the end of heartache! <laughs> Sit out of the ring, not sure she wants to be here. We all know what she's looking to do next. Uh-oh! Lands in the drop zone. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Dodges. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. All the momentum is swung to her favor. You can tell she is fully... As the hook... Knockout victory. This one is over. Here is your winner, Nancy. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.
When Ronda Rousey steps in the ring, you expect it to be rough and tight. No exception. Especially because Ronda showed up this time. We're finally going to get to settle this whole clean the championship belt issue. I don't know how much Ronda Rousey's opponent has left in her after facing the gauntlet of Sonya Deville, Shayna Baszler, and now Ronda. But we're about to find out. Kid wins. Boom! Head kick connects. Popped right in the face. Oh, back fist to the mush. Oof! Smacked by the back fist. Oh, the discus clothesline. Took their head off. Looking bad for her here. She can withstand the punishment, though. Super kick finds the mark. Uh-oh, it's gonna, we're gonna see it! Stop! Spring, oh goodness, what a 450! Right, Springboard misses the target! Nicely done! And now Ronda is under immense pressure. But Rousey is always just one strike away from changing the complexion of this fight. Fisherman suplex. Here we go. Beautiful set on. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. And a beautiful swan time. Oh, look at this. German suplex. And not done yet. Another German. A trio of wicked German suplexes. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. And this one might be headed ringside. Oh. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you to hang tight. Let this play out. Oh, good night. Sorry. An unrelenting assault being brought to Ronda. You don't often see Rousey get cut down like this. a dire situation right now. She did her homework there. Whoa, that was nice. Looking for a high-risk move. She begins to stir back up, but doesn't look good. Rousey was not ready for that. It could be over. Two. And she's still in the game. Holy cow, Ronda Rousey still has a lot of fight left in her tonight. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? This could be it. The, the end of heartache. Ronda Rousey weathering a major storm. Kick right to the knee. This could be it here, guys. Wrapping him up. Look at this. Yes, Lamai Straw. Shoulders down. That's it. And got it. Surprise pin. Here is your winner, Nancy. A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation.
just the person I was looking for. What are you doing at SmackDown, let alone in here? Just popped over for a chat. Wondering why you were avoiding facing me in the ring. Haven't heard from you since you bailed on our match. I didn't bail. Ava attacked me. Well, it seems like that problem is solved now, doesn't it? Vehicular shenanigans and all. So what's the holdup? You're not too nervous to face me? Nervous? Yeah, right. But what's your angle here? Not like you to be so insistent about rescheduling a match. Let's just say that after you got distracted, there was an unhealthy amount of incorrect internet chatter about who would have won our matchup. I would simply like to set the record straight. I'm ready whenever you are. Although, I'm not sure you'll be happy with what the internet has to say after I win. I don't intend to see that eventuality. This match feels like it's been months in the making after a previously scheduled contest was called off after an outside. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Straining those. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Oh, humiliating. Just kicks to the face. Both wrists captured and that was nasty. Super kick! Oh, God. devastating impact to the back. She's pushed into the corner. Wait a second. Setting her up for... No, this is... She can't do this. No way. Byron, very few people have done this. Are you kidding me? There is way too much distance to cover here. Coast to coast! She nailed it. She's enduring some damage. She can withstand the punishment, though. Nice snap mare delivered, headed to the outside. Whoa, a stunner! Charlotte is losing grasp of this match now. Charlotte trying to withstand this surge. And that failed to hit the mark. Nasty kick. Oh, and she got out of there. She manages to get control. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. This is, uh, this is awkward, guys. Not quite sure that's the word I'd use, but nonetheless. Oh, repeated headbutts! A mounting! And hammering away! She's starting to drag a little bit. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Flair is falling behind now. The Queen's... Oh, look out! Oh, straight to the floor! A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Oh, wow, that hurt! Wow, wiping that smug look right off her face. Golly, incredible axe kick. Right to the back of the net. Holy 
meet the barricade. Oh, and a barricade. And back in the ring we go. Charlotte clearly not thinking much of her opponent right here. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. The splash in the corner. Wow. You can't take much more of this. She is barely standing at this point. Charlotte needs to utilize some of that famous flair stamina to get back in this. I agree with you. Queen changes the direction of that one. Moved at the right time. A consistent attack being mounted on Flair. Charlotte's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. There she goes. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. You gotta be kidding me! You wanna talk about putting it all on the line? Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. All right, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Oh my God, superhuman power! He is desperately trying to break the grip and does so. don't know what it's gonna take. And Flair gets that turn back on her. She flips it back on her. Turning down face first. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. on Charlotte Flair is she gonna tap out I think it's only a matter of time but perhaps thinking something else here not sure why though Michael she seemed to have it really cinched in great way to see yeah looking for the submission remarkable power being shown here she's in a tremendous amount of pain is she gonna looks like she has other plans here I think she was just looking to soften her up a little there Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. And she releases the hold that she feels that enough damage has been done. Should have kept on wrenching. Why show mercy now? This could be it. The end of heartache. Not the position you want to be in right now. And this match will head back to the ring. Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. Oh! Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Get to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. Charlotte is losing grasp of this match now. The Queen's perseverance being tested here. You got a rope. And Charlotte displaying this kind of demeanor must be an inherited trait. Oh, and reminding her that she did not come here to play games. And the hits to the core keep coming. That's another focused attack on her torso area. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Super kick! Oh, impressive counter. These two showing how well scouted. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. And now looking to get it locked in. Charlotte Flair. Is she going to tap out? I think. And she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Set up for a second time. And that could do Charlotte. Is it enough? The cover. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Nancy. This was as dominant a win as 
I've ever seen, guys. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. You here to complain about how that loss was unfair? Grow up, Charlotte. I don't want to hear whatever excuses you might have. I gave you the match you asked for, and I beat you. As much as it pains me to admit it, I will give credit where credit is due. You were better than I expected. Thanks? But can you blame me for underestimating you? I thought I was facing the same woman who absolutely choked on her nepotism-fueled debut at Survivor Series. That's the only reason I lost. Ah, here come the excuses. Will you shut up? I'm trying to compliment you. Am I mad you beat me? Yes. But I also see now it isn't nepotism that got you to where you are, it's talent. I know what it's like to be misjudged based on who you're related to. So I thought I owed it to you to say that. Is this actually an apology? Don't push your luck. And if you tell anyone I said those things, I'll deny it. But seeing as you're obviously talented enough to beat me, even if I had let my guard down, I was wondering if you might be interested in going to war with me. What do you mean? War games. Ronda Rousey put a team together and singled me out. I'm building my own team to take her on. Who do you have so far? Hopefully you. But after what I saw in the ring, I can't think of a better place to start. You in? Actually, yes. I am. Wow. Sure didn't think a couple of days ago we'd be teaming up. Neither did I. Actually, since I wasn't expecting to build a team with you, and I clearly haven't seen enough of your matches, it might be helpful to watch you in action against a few people. It'll help me figure out how to balance your talents to build an unstoppable team. Put me on the team and it's automatically unstoppable. But sure, why not? There's a local wrestler I'm trouncing on the next SmackDown if you want to stick around for that. Good enough place to start? You're just looking into her eyes, you can see that she's as focused as ever for this one. Keeping her head on a swivel and her eyes on the prize. That's what this business is all about, Cole. She knows just how important a win in this one could be, and she's going to keep that in mind here. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Assisted drop kick. It's incredible, the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Face first. Nice takedown, and now just battering knees. Oh, they clutch their opponent's wrist, and look at this. And now a series of stomps and kicks. She's beginning to flag a little. Snapmare takedown. Where are they going? Back in the ring. Whoa, stunner into the pin and she's not done yet i can't believe the ref didn't get two here oh 
my goodness. La Loca is getting picked apart right now. La Loca needs to be resourceful in this situation. Dropped with a knee to the body. Oh, no, there is more to come now. This time on the apron, right across the back of the neck. Ooh, look at her answering back. She's able to get out of the way. Escape just in time. Looking to plant her with a DDT. Oh, back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. She'll take things into the ring. Super kick! She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, man! Kick to the face! Oh! Uh-oh. It's going to... We're going to see it! their head off. She's got her where she wants her. Spear! Spear! La Loca scratching and clawing. This could be it. Oh, and a kick out! How did she do that? Can you believe it? Can you believe she powered out? Set up for something in the quick. Wait a second. Setting her up for. No, this is. She can't do this. No way. Byron, very few people have done this. Are you kidding me? There is way too much distance to cover here. Coast to coast. She nailed it. We might be close to the end. This is a very dangerous situation now. Nice hip toss takedown. Oh, that was nice. Things now not going well for La Loca. Tough spot for La Loca. <laughs> Bullseye with the back fist. Ripcord. Lariat. Guys, did you think that this superstar would be able to get back into this match like this? Absolutely not. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. This could be it. The end of heartache. She avoids the contact. Oh, that just gets close. What's hurt the hell? And she can't put an end to any of the offense coming at her. Yeah, the faults in her game plan are being laid bare. She has her target weighed and measured. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
Last time we saw these two, they were on opposite sides of the ring. Tonight, they're in the same corner. Talent recognizes talent, Michael. It's as simple as that. Don't be naive, Saxton. Charlotte recognizes what's best for Charlotte. And the rumors are she's been scouting superstars for the upcoming War Games match. I assume that explains her presence here tonight. Oh, the rear super kick! From behind, nasty. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Lethal kick. She's taking some big hits here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Super kick! Uh-oh. Senton! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Rift has no control here. Rift has to weather a storm here. Into the barricade. Oh, man. Look at this. Into the barricade. Six. Oh, and a rear super kick. From behind. Nasty. She heads into the ring. Count out maybe imminent here. Really testing fate right now. Uh-oh, check out an Arabian press. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. She's got her in her sights. She's in total control. It looks like there's nothing there that can stop her. Swanton. Looks ready for that. This match may be nearing its limit. I hope she's got a little something extra left in the tank. Otherwise, she's in trouble. to the top rope now. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? She's in serious danger. Cover! Two count! And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Nancy! This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Well, you certainly seem to know how to dominate in the ring. Well, that's the idea, right? I mean, it helps that those two wrestlers are still finding their footing. Though I'd look just as dominant against a more seasoned opponent. Speaking of which, who's next? Nobody. I've seen enough. I know exactly who we should team up with. I'm all ears. The two women you just defeated. What? Why would we partner with wrestlers who couldn't even give me any more of a challenge? To go up against Ronda Rousey and her team? You cannot tell me there aren't better choices. And after watching you in the ring, you cannot tell me that we need the help. Look, I understand it sounds crazy, but we do this, it'll be clear that it's the two of us pulling the weight on the team. And no one will underestimate either of us for being products of nepotism. We'll be the two women who won war gains on their own two feet with only local talent to help them. It is pretty ballsy. You really think it's a good idea? Do you really think I'd set us up to fail? We've already got two alphas. We don't need more. 
I guess not. Great. Then let's make this official. And since you and I are going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting, we should have a tag match against a couple of members of Rhonda's team, just to see how we work together. Just two? Might as well take on all four since that's basically what you're signing us up to do. Trust me, this is all going to work out. A War Games preview tag match has turned into anything but as Charlotte Flair has abandoned her partner to face two formidable superstars on her own. There's a number of possible explanations, Michael. She could be sick or maybe have car problems. Saxton, the only problem is between your ears. Charlotte's watching from somewhere and smiling. Why she did this, we'll have to wait and see. Myron, this doesn't look good. Not at all. Locked inside the Venus fly trap. Still going. Oh. Oh. Super kick. Right. Oh, and a rear super kick. From behind. Nasty. Oh, and a just gets close lock. Took their head off. Bailey is now under pressure. Bailey's getting beaten to the punch with every exchange. And a slap for the exclamation point. Yes, tag! Super kick! Oh, night. Slip away! This could be it! Feel the end of heartache! And she can't find a response for this assault. Yeah, she's in desperate search for answers now. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Splash in the corner. Wow. <laughs> Bailey turns it around. Bailey managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Yeah, but she needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. This onrush has got to be draining Rodriguez. Raquel's got to start turning the tide somehow. Striking with the axe kick. Running swan time. Yeah. Running set time. This could be it. The end of heartache. Oh. Headed to the top now. She's calling for it. Off for two. That's gotta be it. Two. She wins. She wins. Here is your winner, Nancy. They just won a very important match. Love them or hate them, you know they did everything they could to earn this win.
Oh, hey there. What's up? What the hell, Charlotte? Where were you for our match? You haven't figured it out? Knock, knock, hello. I set you up and you fell for it. What? My let's prove we can stand on our own two feet speech was pretty convincing, huh? I was right, you are naive. No way am I letting someone like you take my place at the top. And when you and your team of misfits fall to Ronda, the WWE Universe will see how weak you are. You're backing out of war games? Oh, I didn't say that. Raquel Rodriguez has a sore, I don't know, let's say back. So I'm switching sides and filling in for her. Ronda and I have a complicated history, but I respect her way more than you. Management won't let you do that. Yeah, right. Like WWE doesn't just eat up this kind of drama. It's already done. Fine, but I know you've made more than enough enemies to make it easy for me to find a fourth member of my team. I'm insulted. You think I would leave you in the lurch like that? I already told management you found one. Fanny will be happy to fill in. Good luck, baby Justine. Your team is really going to need it. They say all is fair in love and war, and Charlotte Flair has definitely put that to the test here tonight, completely manipulating the women's division into a favorable matchup here at War Games. Well, there will be a giant asterisk next to this victory for sure, assuming Charlotte's team prevails. There's no asterisk. A win is a win. Mind games are as much a part... Wait a second. Setting her up for... No, this is... She can't do this. No way. Byron, very few people have done this. Are you kidding me? There is way too much distance to cover here. Coast to coast! She nailed it! Look at this. Well-scattered reversal there. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Oh, that backfired on her. Just thrown away. Goodness, brutal backfist finds the mark. The countdown hurtling towards the ship to the status quo. She hit the corner hard. They're on the loose, looking to change the landscape of this match. Super kick! And entering into an absolute war zone, giving the troops the boost they need. Into the Bulldog! And a slap for the exclamation point. Using a handful of hair to deliver the snapmare. And this is even worse, my goodness. Look at this. And she will climb the cage. Not the smartest of ideas. Ooh, focused attack on the neck. Feeling the WWE Universe on another level. This is her fuel. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. X-Kick! 
And here we go. Climbing up the cage. Only bad things happen from that decision. The next entry didn't come in to even up the odds. Nicely done. Another warrior about to enter the fray. Here to balance the scales. Drop hit, hits the mark. Inverted tree of woe position now. And now they are part of the war, ready to fight for their platoon. Drop kick. She's searching for a tool to gain the advantage. And a basement drop kick. Striking with the axe kick. And that was a well-targeted attack. And they have now entered the battlefield that has a way with them. Dragon screw. She's gone after her opponent's core. 
few times now. And a helpless Rousey being targeted. She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage. victorious team.
Some could argue that there are no winners in a match like this, but right now, the battlefield only has one team standing. Well, I don't know how she did it, but Lacey Evans secured a candlestick endorsement deal. Now she's bugging me for a candlestick match every week. Interested? I'm looking for a superstar who can make her regret asking for that sort of match. Tonight we have what Lacey Evans hopes will be the first of many kendo stick matches. After landing a kendo stick endorsement deal. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Me neither, but both of these women will want to make sure they're the ones still standing when this one reaches its kendo crescendo. Kendo crescendo. You are lucky I don't have one of those sticks, Saxton. Oh, the counter! Into the corner. This can't be good. Bang! Boom! Oh, we are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. Things are just going from bad to worse. Momentum going back to Lacey's corner. Evans certainly tipping the scales a bit here. And Lacey is on the downside of things now. Yeah, Lacey needs to rethink her strategy fast. Overhand strike. Oh, and this awesome Sicilian barrage. The buffet of punches. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. <laughs> Impressive reversal there. It's time for her to take advantage of that misstep and take command. Reverses the move into a DDT. Dangerous intentions in her mind right now. She knows what an important equalizer the kendo stick can be. Side headlock applied. Oh, good Gosh. measure. Oh, targeting the neck. That offense really hitting her hard. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. of these attacks. Stop! And Lacey is on the downside of things now. Yeah, Lacey needs to rethink her strategy fast. She's in the ring now. 
Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Comes back into the ring. now is to destroy and incapacitate. Oh, and you never want to count a competitor out, but there seems to be no signs of defense right now. And things are just going from bad to worse. And it is getting downright nastier and nastier with each of these attacks. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. Evans with the retaliation. Momentum going back to Lacey's corner. Evans certainly tipping the scales a bit here. Oh, jeez. Bad landing off the reverse line. And the attacks up there must be taking their toll. Her vision's got to be seeing some dark spots at this point. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. We expected an exciting match, but we're also getting a reveal as Rhea Ripley seems to be implying that the Judgment Day has added a new member. Well, nothing is official yet. I'm surprised this is happening. You're right. It's not official. If Rhea's charge doesn't get the win, the Judgment Day membership can be taken away as quickly as it's given. Continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Nice suplex delivered. Now there is more to come. A second. Third. Not done yet. Third time's the charm. Hooks the leg. Oh. The Venus fly trap. Close line. She's into the ring again. 
And the ref gets hit with an unintentional shot there. Oh, man, drop kick. She can withstand the punishment, though. Knee to the back of the neck. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. And a slap, too. Softening up the neck with that one. Uh-oh. It's gonna... We're gonna see it! Stop! Oh, and a discus clothesline! Took their head off. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Dakota seems unable to turn the momentum here. Kyle's got to get it together to avoid disaster. And a poison runner. And she's stunned to the corner. Kyle able to counter. And that could be a first step towards Kai gaining control. Looks like Kai's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. If this works, it can change the course of the match. Oh, the top. Elbow. Nice cross body. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, she is in a rough spot now. And a slap, too. And the pressure on her keeps escalating. She just has to find a spark somehow. You can sense what her intentions are here. Intercepted with a clothesline to cut off the attack. win. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked.
No surprises this time as Rhea Ripley and the newest member of the Judgment Day compete in a tag match. No surprises and no excuses from their opponents about not being prepared. Oh, come on, Corey. They had a point. After seeing Rhea ringside, even I felt off my game. Saxton, you've never been on your game. A mounting. And hammer it away. This could be it. Oh, the end of heartache. Both wrists captured. And that was nasty. That offense taking a toll on her. She's reached a critical point in this match, Cole. It's up to her if she wants to play it safe or keep fighting. Ah, oh, vicious knee to the face. And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Full court press being applied to Kai. Paying it right back with a reversal. Tagged in. Tag made. She's in. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Ripley gets her back. Hit the mark with that one. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. Good golly, Miss Molly. Onto the defensive now. Oh, what a headbutt! No. Super kick! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Went back into the ring. Whoa! Drop kick all the way to the outside. Sent into the corner. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Stumps. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. She's in for it now. Oh, what a strike to the back. Brutal boot. Stops Ripley's attack. Just look at the power of Rhea Ripley. Oh, face buster. Running leg drop. Ripley unloading on her opponent. Impressive sequence by Ripley. Kick to the gut. Here it comes. Ripley with an emphatic statement. And Rhea Ripley is carrying pain. Strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo.
We certainly have a big one tonight. What looked like a promising alliance with the Judgment Day. Looks like it's falling apart as quickly as it formed. Strong personalities mean very strong feelings, Cole. And what better way to hash it all out than an Extreme Rules match? I'm sure there are much safer ways to resolve differences, but none more entertaining. Oh, Ooh, clobbered with the back fist. Right to the head on that one. Oh! She's feeling the hurt here. Her opponent's making good use of the stipulation. She better watch out. Ripley is getting beaten down here. Ripley needs to be resourceful. Find an opening. Placed into the corner. Splash in the corner. Wow. Spring. Inside the ring now. A table. The WWE Universe is going wild. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Momentum's all with her now. Yeah, she just continues to unload on her opponent. The table can't look out. Crashing down with the center. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. <laughs> Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Uh-oh. Saw that coming. Re-entering the ring now. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, man. Obviously hoping to take things to the next level with this ladder. Rhea Ripley in a state of distress. Ripley has to stop struggling. Oh, what a close line. Cannonball! And she's placed right against the table. Oh, this will turn your lights out in a hurry. Snap, guys! What a gravy! Clearly holding nothing back. Using that well-placed table to great effect. Bringing a steel chair into play here. She's setting the chair up. This is not going to be pretty. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Pick your jaw. Splash. Climbing up to the top now. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? From the top! Oh, the double knees! What impact! Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Nightmare takedown. Where are they going? Back in the ring of a stone. She wants to finish this. This could be it. The end of Hornet. And now she's looking to go top rope. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. right there never a doubt barely a moment's suspense this one was about as lopsided as they come
A cinematographer friend of mine is filming an indie movie about astronauts going to Jupiter to take out an enemy cyborg base. He needs someone to help mocap a fight scene, and I told him I knew just who to ask. Thing is, you won't be able to do any top rope moves, or else the whole thing will look fake thanks to Jupiter's strong gravitational pull. Could be a fun opportunity. Interested? It's over.
You have yourself a nice little snack today? What? Um, I guess I had a pretty good banana. Not too green, not too ripe. Wasn't bad. Enough with your banana babbling. I know you ate my oatmeal. Stole it from the fridge like a right little thief, didn't you? Why would anyone want to steal someone else's oatmeal? Because it's delicious, and I can smell it on your breath. I don't want your oatmeal, and I really don't like being called a thief. <laughs> if you want to continue this conversation, I'm happy to do it in the ring. Like I have time to mess with the likes of you. I've got big time stuff to do, let alone the fact that I've got to go out and get myself a new bowl of oatmeal. I'm far too busy. No thanks to you. If it would help, I can make sure to beat you quickly. Why don't we get in the ring for, what do you say, five minutes? Surely you can carve out that amount of time to avenge the theft of your precious oatmeal. So you admit it. I admit nothing, except a desire to clear my name. Fine. You can have five minutes of my time and a fair dose of my fury. You'll think twice before you cop any more of my snacks. No one steals from the goat. Don't step away for a bowl of popcorn. This five-minute time limit match promises to be a quick one. But that doesn't mean it won't pack in the action. Well, you can do a lot of damage in five minutes, both to your opponent and their reputation. Rock with a knee lift. And the oh. is in Lana. Up is down, and down is up after a move like that. Ooh, she just took... Oh, no, there's going to be trouble lurking for her with this submission maneuver. And she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. Pivotal opportunity there just got denied by the rope break. Oh, a toss across. And an elbow drop to the arm. Strikes with a kick. And now she's climbing to the top turn. Taking flight. Oh, God. Was trying to make a big splash with that, but there was no water in the pool. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Oh, that foils Lynch. A rapid shots right to the gut. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. This could be it. Oh, the end of heartache. Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Stop. And now thrown back into the ring. Nice takedown, and now just battering knees. Oh, my goodness. Just strike it at will. Arms trapped. This is unique. Look at this face first. Becky can't stop this string of offense. The man's got to figure something out. Ooh, targeting the back of the neck. Uh-oh. It's going to... We're going to see it. Stop. Saw that one coming. Lynch reversing the momentum on her. Becky entered the storm and wants to create a flurry of her own. She re-enters the ring now. Close line. And up the turnbuckles we go. Pick your job off the floor. Look out for Big time risk pays off. The daredevil 
when you comes out when you take risks like that. And now she's getting routed. Yeah, her defensive instincts are all that's keeping her alive. Rolling cutter. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. A situation for Lynch. Cover. Two count. Kick out. Thought that was the end of her. Becky is alive and the fire is still burning. You come at the man, you'll have to come harder than that. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. Held in a perilous position. Lynch is losing command in this one. This is a more daunting task than Becky bargained for. Ripcord. Oh, and Becky fights back. Becky able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. Time now for Becky to get her energy up and claw back into the fight. Oh, God. She had it scouted. I think we're about to see a masterful pinning combination. Oh, my. Oh, wow. This could be a victory. Zero. Here is your winner, Nancy. That came out of nowhere. An unexpectedly quick end to this match. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. I'm getting torn about on social media thanks to you. I certainly hope you don't think we're finished. I do. In fact, I finished with you rather quickly. Only because it wasn't a normal match. Those were unfair conditions. Everybody should realize that. Becky, you should learn to accept defeat and move on. I'm sure everyone will forget about it soon. Other than me, I have to admit, I really enjoyed myself. I don't appreciate getting mocked. Not by you, not by that squeaky little runt Alexa Bliss. We're getting back in the ring. I've already got another match tomorrow night. Besides, I've got nothing left to prove. But good luck finding the real oatmeal thief and bringing them to justice. I'm getting my rematch one way or another. Here's a superstar that is seemingly created to be the next big thing in WWE, an actual athlete in the truest sense. She has set her back quite high early into her career. I think it's a good thing, Cole. You will become one of the greatest by setting easy goals. Pushing herself is what she's all about. We'll see if she has enough to push to get the victory here tonight. And then we have a superstar who defies gravity just as often as she defies the rules. EO Sky.
For someone known for flying high, there's no lows she won't sink to if it means securing victory. She can be downright ruthless. How dare you? Io's just willing to go the distance to get the win. Very few superstars can do what she does in the air. And adding a little ruthlessness just gives her an even bigger edge in the ring. It's Becky Lynch. Guess she's trying to get a rematch one way or another. Well, she's a single-minded competitor. It's one of the most annoying and impressive things about her. It's Sky who gets dealt a ruthless blow with that attack. She can withstand the punishment, though. Enable to counter. Oh, the rear super kick. From behind, nasty. Splash in the corner. Wow. Io's been on the receiving end for a bit now. Io has to start volleying back somehow. And a slap, too. Look at this. Stepping through. Legs all locked up here. Just punishing their opponent. Oh, man, a stomp. She's keeping the pressure on here. Really taking control here. Oh, man, what inverted Frankensteiner. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Looks like we meet again. You finally gonna quit ducking me and face me in the ring? I don't know how many times I have to say this, Becky, but I'm not interested in giving you another match. 
Learn to lose gracefully and move on. You mess with the goat, and I'm not going away until I get my match. Every single time you turn around, I'm gonna be there. Is that supposed to scare me or something? I'm not giving you a match. I'm not phased by you. Aren't you? Because whether you want to admit it or not, I'm already inside your head. No, you're not. Aren't I? Because I think I've already weaseled my way in. Just you wait. You're gonna have nightmares about me. Sleep tight. We've got an unusual match direct from the subconscious of one of our superstars against three Becky Lynch's. You've got to be prepared for Wait a second. Setting her up for... No, this is... She can't do this. No way. Byron, very few people have done this. Are you kidding me? There is way too much distance to cover here. Coast to coast! She nailed it. Placed in the corner. Nowhere to go, being victimized by those. The Muay Thai training really showing off here. My God, enough! This could be it! Both wrists captured and pow! Uh, blade! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Constant pressure being kept on Becky. Becky's facing adversity here. Side kick on the mark. That kick will stop you in your tracks. O'Connor roll. Whoa, roll through. Pele kick. And she's stunned in the corner. Splash in the corner. Wow. Just a tenacious assault from her. She's reading everything her opponent is trying to throw at her. Right to the back of the neck! Becky definitely felt every last bit of that blow. Yeah, but at this point... No way! Oh, dropping down all their weight. That's finding Whoa. any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane! Oh! Boom! Three! Has them hooked! Crossroads! Four! And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh! Constant pressure being kept on Becky. Becky's facing adversity here. You can sense what her intentions are here. Look at it in here! This could be it! The rep not even getting to one. Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take. I've got the arm trapped. Looking for Levi Straw Cradle. What? And there's the save. She's fighting back. Ripcord. 
Oh my goodness, nasty line! Swing blade! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. Becky Lynch has taken on a lot of damage. I'm not sure how much she has left in the tank. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Oh man, turns that into a devastating shot to the knee. Backhand hits the target. Boom! Go for the dive. Uh-uh. Oh. False alarm. Boom! Oh, what a shot. Arm control here. Gonna roll through. The maestro One. applied. Two. That's it. Bring it. And scores the win with the unique pin. There she is, the chicken still running from the goat. You know what? I'm done running. What changed your little chicken mind? Um, no reason. Doesn't matter. Just felt like crushing you in the ring. Why do I need a reason? Very interesting. But you don't. Just know the goat is going to step on your throat. The goat, the goat, the goat. I'm so sick of hearing about the goat. Are you gonna start braying next? You know what? Let's make it even more interesting. Loser has to dress like an actual goat for their next match. Hmm. I don't love the idea of anybody imitating my style, but in this case, I think I'll win and make an exception for you. Deal. As if there wasn't enough animosity between these two, there's a whole lot more on the line as tonight's loser will find herself dressing as a goat for her next match. As always, be careful what you say on social media. You never know how it could come back to bite you. Thanks for that PSA, Saxton. Nonetheless, neither of these women will want to be embarrassed tonight, and even worse, in their next match. A trio of wicked German suplexes. than Becky bargained for. Look at this! Comes crashing down. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. She's starting to look concerned. Nice takedown, and now just battering knees. Vicious, aggressive attacks. Front face lock applied with the underhook. A oh, gut buster. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Momentum has shifted to her corner. She's efficient and dangerous with her offense thus far. Oh, she saw it coming. Oh, what a hip toss. Oh, that was nice. 
And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. She wants to put an end to things here. Has them hooked. Rolling cutter. Elbow throw saying not today. Reversal up. Has them hooked. Positive situation for Lynch. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Makes a cover. Oh, this match is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. This could be it. The end of heartache. Momentum is running away from Becky fast. The man's got to figure something out. Fails to connect. The springboard. Oh, did we just see a two fly out? She's on her last legs here. This has just been an absolute massacre. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Counter after counter. Seeing an answer for every move attempt. Who's the fix? Very nice. Hitting combination. A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you got to be on your toes at all times. that I can't see in this stupid thing <laughs> wow let me get you a mirror or better yet I'll take a picture <laughs> Ugh, it's you well you've made a massive mistake now you've given me even more fuel for my revenge you have more than enough fuel by now don't you don't stand near any open flames you're the only one getting burned. You will experience a whole new level of humiliation after I'm through with you. More humiliating than it will be to wear that goat head in your next match? <laughs> Good luck living that one down, Becky.
Becky Lynch often dresses in unique outfits, but this one tops them all as she dons a goat costume for this fatal four-way match. For someone who considers herself as stylish as Becky, this has got to be adding insult to injury. Goats are actually pretty tough. Obviously, that won't help Becky Lynch tonight since she's just wearing a costume, but still, it's good to know. Into the corner now. This one is headed outside, guys. And that was offense with a thoughtful purpose. Quick return to the ring. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Good night. And that one misses the mark. Oh, straight forward. mocking her now. Uh, she just let her know what she really thinks about her. Becky Lynch with a great shot. Well, right after the shit. Dragon screw. And will this be it? That could have been it right there. Exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Back in the ring now. Mastermind Bliss with the mind games at work. That was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Counters. A quick take down there. Bliss with the kick into the sunset. That powerball was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. And quite an effective counter. Oh, what a slam. Oh, what a kick. Uh-oh. All the way up. What's this thinking here? Making that shoulder vulnerable. She can do it here. She probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. Uh oh, Thor's gonna cut off the win. The PT to climb. This will win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. Dangerous situation needs to find a way out fast. And she does. Great move. This match is wearing her down. Yeah, but at this point, Cole, the fatal four-way is still anyone's to win. Taking head over heels. And Bailey never saw that coming. Side now. Hey, wait for me. Nice takedown, and now just battering knees. Oh my God. <laughs> Michinoku driver. Yeah. Oh. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Oh my God. Could be some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out. It's what else. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Just one right after the other can't be stopped. Reverse DDT. She's feeling the hurt here. A quick reversal by Bailey. Nice takedown. Steady legs in the corner needs to recover. Belly to belly. That's gotta be it. Shoulders up before two. Amazing effort by her. Uh-oh. And a suplex. Oh, a side coming. Boom. Super kick. Big four. Nice. 
throws her back in from ringside. She's going for it. She kicks out the force. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Man, what a hit. Looks like Becky Lynch could be done for. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Tossed into the corner. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. Oh, no, 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 no. No oh. way. Yes way. Forget it. She's counting sheep. Scary. It could be over here. This is it. And that does it. Beats the odds and gets the fatal four-way win. Here is your winner, Nancy. What a finale to this intense Fatal 4-Way match. This match was just as chaotic as we thought it would be. It absolutely was, from bell to bell. People have been talking more about you since you got that bad attitude. You know, that you're too full of yourself and got here in the first place through nepotism. And people say that since you didn't travel the world paying your dues, you're not as well-rounded as they are. Although I think you could take on anyone, anywhere. Including anywhere in any arena.
Enough wasting time on rivalries. I just got some intel. Management has just decided who's going to be Dewdrop's next challenger for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Is it... me? No, but it can be. Whoever wins the Elimination Chamber match will take on Dewdrop for the championship at WrestleMania. And if we do things right, you may not even have to wait until then. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind the specifics. Are you ready to get started? You'll need to qualify for the chamber match first. <laughs> Let's do it. There's no time like the present. Great. I'll talk to management and get you in a qualifying match. <sighs> Man, is it nice to not have to do that myself anymore. Perks of having a manager, dear. I suppose you've already heard this from your aunt, but I've got a qualifying match for you tonight. The winner will be added to the Elimination Chamber. I'm guessing you already know the stakes? Winner gets a match with Dewdrop for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania? That's right. You'll be competing against Indy Hartwell. Great. Shouldn't be a problem for me to win. No one on the roster is on my level. Ah, there's that new attitude. Still... Even though your aunt is managing your business now, don't be a stranger, okay? Hey, there's something I think you should do in your match tonight. Win? Naturally, but really make an example of Indy Hartwell. I wasn't planning on taking it easy on her. No, I know. But Indy's been having some minor backstage squabbles with Dewdrop lately. Nothing truly notable, but stir the pot between them, and I think you can use it to your benefit. You've got a whole plan put together, don't you? Of course I do. WWE's premier Antony's duo look to keep their momentum rolling against the always impressive Indy Hartwell in this huge elimination chamber qualifier match. And it brings a tear to my eye to see how far our girls come since Survivor Series Cole. What a glow up. Seems like Justine's knee still has a lot of growing up to do, if you ask me. Watch her set up in the corner. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh, man, what a boot. Golly, incredible axe kick. Thank <laughs> you. 
She heads out, but this one can be lost by count out. of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you gotta be on your toes at all times. Your last match was a little extra. Listen, I meant what I said about fighting my battles. I can take care of myself. I know that. You're a strong, fierce woman and competitor who I greatly admire. So I definitely don't think you're so thirsty and insecure that you're creating all those Dewdrop fan accounts. And they said I'm doing that? Oh, that was the least of it. None of it seemed right, especially considering what's going on with Stephanie McMahon right now. What's going on with Stephanie? Wait, you don't know? I shouldn't have said anything. You've handled it well so far, so no reason for you to worry about it and be distracted. Tell me. Stephanie's been pretty vocal, at least around legends like my aunt. She thinks you're a terrible champion and is trying to do everything in her power to undermine you. She's even been asking management to put you in more difficult matches before your title defenses, so you're more likely to lose. I think that's why they're planning a handicap match for you next week. Why would they do that? I don't need to prove anything in the ring. I'm the SmackDown Women's Champion. I decide when and where I fight. It's all Stephanie. Although... I bet if I leverage my aunt's position as a WWE legend, I could get myself added to that match so it's not a handicap. 
I know it's unconventional, the two of us teaming up when I just qualified for Elimination Chamber, but I meant it when I said I admire you. It would be an honor for me to tag with you. That it would. Let's do it. This may be the first time Dewdrop and her partner have teamed up. There's already chatter that could be one of the most dominant duos in WWE. The legacy superstars' newfound ferocity combined with Dewdrop's championship grit and Justine's chessmaster moves? That's a scary combo. Especially if you're Indy Hartwell and Aaliyah. The degree of difficulty for something like that can't be overstated. This could be it! Oh, the end of heartache! Both wrists captured and... That was nasty. Oh my goodness! Able to parry that one. Then here come the punches! Aliyah gets met with a response. Mounting a downed opponent, look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap for the exclamation point. A spine buster. She's taking a beating here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. And finds a counter. Never saw it coming. Arms trapped. This is unique. Bang. It's over. There's a tag. Jumping elbow drop. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. It's always disorienting, taking those hits above the shoulders. Oh, direct impact to the chest. Oh, my! Thrown back in under the ropes. Oh, jeez. And Aaliyah's resolve might be wavering here. Absolutely. Dewdrop is breaking her opponent apart. Aaliyah quickly moves. Quick exchange of counters there. Disrespectful shove there. Oh. She left an opening. Oh, and she turns it around. Aaliyah able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. But she still has to do more to get this fully in her favor. And the blitz from it. Dewdrop just continues to melt the offense. Aaliyah has to weather the storm. Oh, what a splash. Dewdrop could be one move away from ending things. Dewdrop scoops up her opponent with a vicious Michinoku driver. Dewdrop on the cusp of ending it. <laughs> Big back body drop. Look at the power of Dewdrop. Driven down Michinoku driver. Does that finish India? Behind. This could be it. And the rope will 
will force a break. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. She's sick to the outside. Stunning display of power. The submission is locked in. Tap here. out coming. It's tap over. out coming. Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Uh-oh. It's gonna... We're gonna see it! Stop! And the brunt of these attacks are focused above the shoulder. It's a very effective and vulnerable spot to target. Boom! Sidekick on the mark. I think we're about to see a masterful pinning combination. Oh, my. Oh, wow. This could be a victory! two superstars. These two are looking like a force to be reckoned with in the women's tag team division. That was a lot of fun. Stephanie was wrong about you. You're not a stumbling clown in the ring at all. What's her problem with me? I don't know. I just hope she doesn't go through with it. Go through with what? <sighs> me and my dumb mouth again. She really doesn't want you to be champion. In fact, she's coming to SmackDown next week to try to convince the rest of management to make the Elimination Chamber match for the championship itself. I guess she thinks someone can take the title off you sooner. She wouldn't dare. I know, Stephanie's pretty strong-willed. But maybe next week is a good opportunity for you to talk to her about it. I'm sure it's all a misunderstanding. You're not really a fashion challenge loser who can't even speak English properly. If you state your case in a strong and convincing manner, maybe she'll back off. Oh, I'll state my case all right. Breaking news. I have just received word that visiting WWE chairwoman Stephanie McMahon was the victim of a shocking attack at the hands of the SmackDown Women's Champion, Dewdrop. No motivation for this attack has been given, but WWE officials were able to restrain Dewdrop before Stephanie was seriously hurt. I'll update the WWE Universe with more news when I have it.
Seems like everything is going according to plan. Nicely done. Stephanie met with me after the attack and she's pretty fired up. I think it's going to work. Perfect. Get excited, because it's that time. Time for me to tell you about the Elimination Chamber preview match. What's the plan? Before the weekend's Elimination Chamber premium live event, we're holding a preview match on SmackDown, a six-woman tag. You, Dewdrop, and Lacey Evans versus Carmella, Bailey, and Zia Lee. Fine by me. Lacey Evans is the last minute scratch tonight, so this Elimination Chamber preview is now officially a two versus three handicap match. No details on Lacey Evans' absence yet, but it's certainly not like her to no show. Yeah, definitely a head scratcher, but these five superstars will have to do their best to ignore the distraction and focus on the business at hand. Oh, a discus clothesline. Took their head off. With the reversal. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. Super kick! Muay Thai clinch applied. Knees, lefts and rights, and a kick to the body to finish it off. Effective arm drag. Oh, that can shower a jump. She's taking some big hits here. Handicap matches are all about strategy, and right now, her strategy simply isn't the effective one. But that could always change. Right to the back of the net! Oh, and a rear super kick! From behind, nasty. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. for that. Range down an elbow retaliation. Set up in the corner of the ring. Butter. Distress showing on the face of Zia Lee. Yeah, Lee needs to figure things out. The end is looming now. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Oh! oh. Shoulders down. Could she fall and put this away? What a performance and what a win. Here are your winners, Nancy and Deidre. When you earn a win like that, you've got to feel pretty good about yourself. This win is going to have them on a high for quite some time, I have to believe. Winning's great, Saxton, but they have to start thinking about their next challenge sooner rather than later.
This win won't be all that matters much longer. I can't believe someone took out Lacey. I mean, kudos to them. I certainly benefit from her not being in the match. Sounds like whoever did it did a great job. Honestly, I'm a little jealous. They didn't even get spotted. Though remember, WWE is gonna fill the spot. Might be someone tougher. True. I wonder if the person who took out Lacey is hoping for that final spot. If that's the case, you know my guess. What's your guess? Seriously? Hmm. Is there anyone who would benefit from an open spot in the match? Maybe someone who benefited in the past when a lighting rig fell on your tag team partner before the Money in the Bank match? Maybe you're right. Ava was pretty angry when Dewdrop was added to the chamber and they canceled Ava's qualifying match. Watch out. If it is Ava, she'll be gunning for you. I know that if I were her, I'd still be hungry for proper revenge. But we'll see soon enough how it plays out for Ava when WWE announces the final entrant. Can't say we've ever had anything like a dark pod before, and I've seen a lot around here. Actually, you do see a lot around here, Tom. Any chance you know who's inside that dark pod? Why would you think I know that? I don't think you know, Tom. I'm just asking. Nope. Huh. Never knew you to be so short. You usually have a lot to say. <sighs> Good luck out there tonight, LJ. I can't believe that more people aren't guessing that I'd be in the dark pod. Are you in the dark pod? No, but I should be. I'm the best thing this women's division has got right now. I shouldn't be left out of this historic match. Hey, you may not be in the dark pod, but at least you're not in a goat head. Rude! Dude, did you hear about this hashtag dark pod thing for the women's elimination chamber? There's gonna be like a whole human in one of the chamber pods, but it'll be dark, so we won't know who it is until it opens. 
Yeah, I've heard about it, Riddle. It's wild. There's a lot of rumors flying around about who's going to be inside, so I gotta ask. Are you in the dark pod? Um, me? Yeah, I won't tell if you are. I'm not in the dark pod, Riddle. Oh, okay. So I gotta ask, am I in the dark pod? You? I won't tell if I am. I don't think so, Riddle. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thanks, bro. The SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line here tonight in one of the most highly anticipated elimination chamber matches of all time. Thanks to the all-time talents fighting for the title and one mystery opponent. Any guesses on who's in there, Corey? If I were competing, I'd be terrified to see Ava Moreno walk out of that dark pot, especially in light of what she just did to Lacey Evans. Allegedly. There she goes. Springboard. The springboard attack fails to land. Oh, my goodness. Boom. And back into the ring she goes. Precise. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. 
nice hip toss takedown. Oh, that was nice. She's pushed into the corner. Oh, kicks into the midsection. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And you drop Fenzer off. She got launched. That goes to show you what Bailey thinks of her opponent here. And back into the ring she goes. German suplex. Shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. inside the ring. Roundhouse kick. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Oh, impact to the stomach. Severely impaired. So right out of the ring. On the outside now. No place is safe in the elimination chamber, but the outside is especially dangerous. And a slap for the exclamation point. That's another focused attack to her torso area. Oh! Has them hooked. It's been the best kept secret in WWE since it was announced. Everyone's on the edge of their seats to find out who's inside. The wait is almost over because the mystery entrant into the Elimination Chamber is about to be revealed. It's Justine, WWE legend and Hall of Famer Justine is the mystery entrant into the Elimination Chamber match. One of these two women will be the next SmackDown Women's Champion. But how? We haven't seen Justine in the ring for over a decade since her career-ending injury. She certainly doesn't look injured to me, Corey. And she also doesn't look like she minds that the woman standing in the way of winning a championship is her niece. Justine immediately on the offensive. Setting her up. And down. It looks as if her niece was completely caught off guard by this. She's getting dominated in there. Wait a second. We've seen this before, but not in a very long time. It's vintage Justine here tonight. The Justine Jammer with the cover. One, two, three. It's over. We have a new SmackDown Women's Champion, and I can't believe I'm saying this. It's Justine. Justine is the new SmackDown Women's Champion. There were so many names thrown around about who was going to be in the dark pod, and Justine wasn't even on the list. Her niece must be shocked. I think the entire WWE Universe is shocked. I'm having flashbacks to 2002. Simply unbelievable that we are witnessing this right now. What a moment in WWE history.
Did you know? That Justine was in the dark pod? No. They kept that secret under wraps, even from me. But I could have told you not to trust her, even though it would have been hard to convince you of that. I can't believe it happened. And I was there, getting pinned. She's my aunt. I'm supposed to be able to trust family. I thought I was like family when we were partners. And you know how that turned out. But there is an upside to having lived through that experience. What's that? I can help you now. Listen, no one knows your aunt like I do. I remember what she was like when she was on the main roster. What got under her skin, her toughest opponents, her regrets, her weaknesses. If you're on a collision course with her now, and you seem to be, you'll want me by your side to give you the best chance to beat her and win the championship that should have been yours. The best way to take down your aunt is to make her confront the past. Confront the past. Interesting idea. I'll think about it. 